We show up in the party, fire than everybody. We show up in the party, fire than everybody. We show up in the party, fire than everybody. We show up in the party, fire than everybody. We show up in the party, fire. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Carbon, and today I am coming at you with a video about the best sniper within Blackout. Now, of course, this comes by opinion. Everyone has their own, uh, you know, thought on what the best sniper rifle is. But I'm coming at you with a little bit of facts. And just the pure evidence of getting a kill with this gun is entirely too satisfying. But before we get into that, I want to remind everybody that if you are not subscribed, drop that subscribe, man. I upload every single day. Blackout tips, Call of Duty news, anything you want to know, I got you. Every single day. And then, guys, I am going to be taking a hiatus. I got some projects to work on, so that means lack of gameplay, which means lack of videos. So in order for there to be videos, I need gameplay. If you want to record your Blackout gameplay, go ahead and do it. Send me a link to im.carbon.yo at gmail.com, and I'll be sure to put your video as the background video when I need to do something about news or any other um, things I feel like you guys need to know while I am working on some projects. Now... Let's go ahead and start the video about the best sniper rifle. What is the best sniper rifle? Now there's the Paladin, there's the Outlaw, there's the Kashka, and there's the SDM, or the Augur, depending on, you know, if you see that as a sniper rifle. But to me, I think the best sniper rifle is the Paladin. And it's the simple fact that it does the most damage of any other gun. And that's just not, like, to do the most damage which means that if you have an accurate shot like right here as long as you can get that dome and get that perfect headshot and you have the paladin no matter what distance chances are you're getting that kill unless they have level 3 armor because this thing has very little bullet drop and does a massive amount of damage at long range it does a hundred no, it actually does, yeah, 145 damage to the body and 212 damage to the head. The Outlaw only does 110 to the body and 154 to the head. And the Kashka does 120 to the body and 168 to the head. And the SDM does 74 to the body and 88 to the head. So, power-wise, the Paladin is absolutely the weapon you want as a sniper rifle. But what do you want to use with a sniper rifle? There's many arguments about that. Like, I like to go with an assault rifle and a sniper rifle and I also like to go with a secondary SMG and the sniper rifle mainly because I feel like if I'm going to be using the sniper rifle I need to use it for any medium to long range engagements or at least mostly to long range engagements instead of an assault rifle so I want, always want to have something for that close range engagements and that's always what a secondary is for and that's why I usually don't carry a sniper rifle because I like having an SMG or a shotgun with an assault rifle but to take a sniper you need to replace one of those and it's really just on you and if you are somebody that has a great shot then the Paladin is the absolute perfect gun for you especially with those those dome shots now this game I had a lot of fun playing in the very beginning I just flew a helicopter around um, after finding my armor my heels my guns and I just stayed up there as long as possible until enough people uh, annoyed me and I saw that box and I decided to go for it that's when I found the sniper and after that first kill I'm like you know what I don't think the outlaw is my favorite sniper anymore I think I have to change it to the paladin and that is a big step for me because as an outlaw person I have learned the travel time for the bullets so I know how far in front to shoot somebody or how far above to shoot them for a bullet drop but with the Paladin it's a whole different game the bullet gets there faster and it has very little bullet drop so you can hit shots such as these long ones here and have very little to absolutely no bullet drop and that is absolutely amazing and it still holds that damage now he's gonna have to go heal up I've absolutely ruined the end of his game especially since the fact that he was in an engagement and I am just gonna enjoy the fact that I am in the safe zone I'm laying in a shaded area I have a scoped weapon and all the areas behind me are on such a ridge that I can hear anybody coming up behind me before they see me and I'll have a chance to react now this is a very exciting game for me because I am actually coming up on 100 wins and this game will be one step closer. 
I am so excited to get my 100 wins considering that I played up until like Prestige 3 on multiplayer and then when Double Merits dropped for this game, I started grinding it and I've been grinding it ever since and you know, I ended up making a YouTube channel about it. It's absolutely insane if you think about it. And now I'm getting paid to play this game, not very much, a few dollars here and there, but it's still like a fact that I'm getting paid to play a game that I love and I'm having fun doing it. There's people in the comments like you guys that are constantly uh, sending me feedback, positive or negative, and I take all that stuff into consideration. I feel like we are building this channel as a team. We are discussing anything and everything blackout. I feel like there are just way too many Call of Duty uh, YouTubers out there, and their main focus is about zombies and multiplayer and game battles. But there's no one really focused on blackout and information about it, news coming, uh, tips and tricks, and I feel like that's where maybe we can take over that market, is that we can start realizing that blackout is one of the best BRs out right now, and BRs are me my battle royales. And the fact that it is free to play up until the 24th, like that just gives you a chance to try it out and not risk your money on it. And I say, why not? Like, if you absolutely love this game, I say give it a try because if it works out, the more people who download it, chances are they're going to make the game free very soon in the future. Because this game is set up exactly like Fortnite, and it is it is designed to be a free game mode. And like I said in a previous video, yeah, it kind of stinks for some of the people that bought it, like ourselves, but at least we got to play the game three, four months early or longer, depending on when the game's actually free. But maybe there's some incentives they need to give us. Um, I do feel like the people who paid for the game should get something, maybe different characters that people who are getting the game for free, you know, can't get. Or some of the skins that we have, like they are not allowed to get. I think that would be great. I want something to distinguish me. But I also want the noobs to have, you know, their own skin so I can you know, find out who is a free trial noob or not, because it's kind of like playing the Christmas noobs all over again. We get to, uh, you know, play with a bunch of noobs who have never played before, and it's just easy kills or, uh, you know, bait for us. It's definitely some funny, random uh, duos, that's for sure. Maybe I can teach people how to play some games. Ignore my shots here, by the way. And then another thing I want to talk about is that... As far as like sending me game footage, I think it would also be a great idea if you guys want to just send me your game footage in Blackout. If you think you're doing something wrong, please go ahead and shoot me a link to your game. I will go over it, I will watch it, and I will give you tips. I will upload a video about it. I will be as positive as I can. I will not be somebody that you know brings you down just because you're not as skilled of a player. Like we are here to make each other better. Like without you guys and without you know positive reinforcement all around and helping each other out like what's the point you know we're not in the days of the call of duty trash talking anymore we are more mature now we work as a team and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have fun doing it and we are on that road to 100 wins and i'm excited to get it i hope to live record it so you guys can to get my full reaction on my 100th win and i can give you guys my entire stats after the 100 wins you gotta consider, man. I've played a lot of multiplayer. I've done a lot of random games where I'm just like testing things and wanting to do random things out. And for some reason, I almost have 100 wins within Blackout with almost all of them. And I repeat, almost all of them coming from solos, not from squads. Squads usually means you have a 1 in 25 chance of winning. In solos, you have a 1 in 100. And if you die in squads, your team could still win. If you die in solos, you have to restart, okay? It is harder for to play solos than it is to play squads. It's a fact. If you do not agree with that, let me know in the comments. Let's see if we can get a debate going. But the Paladin, like I said, is just a sexy gun. Anytime you get that kill, it absolutely just feels amazing. Um, this guy right here, like he absolutely just needs to learn to play better. I mean, that's just on him. It's a mistake on his part. But the Paladin, man, I, I love the Paladin. I think anytime I see it now, as long as I have a four time scope or a sniper scope, is that I'll definitely be picking it up for now on instead of overlooking it. The Kashka, I will still never touch and you'll never see me using. And the SDM is absolutely trash now, so there's no point. And the Outlaw is still fun, considering how fast and how good you are with your aim. 
So yeah, guys, let me know what you think your favorite sniper rifle is within the game. Let me know why. Um, let's see if, you know, try to bunk me wrong, see what the rest of the community says. And like I said, guys, please drop that subscribe. Please drop that like. Please leave a comment. I upload every single day. All right? All right, without further ado, let's end this video. Peace.